keeps performing, like that's that's all he can do. But that's all he can do. All he can do is just do his best. Like, look, I don't really see Red Bull catching up to McLaren when it comes to uh, constructors championship because of Sergio Perez. They should have gotten rid of Sergio Perez and gotten someone else. Like, yeah, let's let's react to what Lando had to say after the race, and and let's see how it's gonna affect McLaren going going forward. Lando, very well done. Martin Brundle called that a, a, a champion's drive. Uh, how how satisfied w were you with it, particularly the way you opened up such a gap in that first stint? Facts. Before before you know, before we even get started, he said Lando had a champion's drive, and that's exactly what Lando had. Lando, Lando today he drove like a champion. He drove like someone who wanted to prove a point. He want he drove like someone who was hungry to go somewhere for more and, and really and truly lando's been racing for that he's been racing like that the whole weekend so yeah let's go back uh, it was pretty straightforward and I, I mean a lot of it was uh it was pretty straightforward and i was very comfortable with of course there was a couple of moments which were a little bit too close from my liking um but it was good you know the car's been mega all weekend i feel like i've been on good form the whole weekend I've been able to, to just be comfortable and execute well and, and get the most out of the car. Um, even when it's not been easy to drive, you know, it's been easy to make mistakes and things and a couple of those mistakes I paid the price for today. But uh, we were just quick, you know, and I, as soon as I got back in a good rhythm, we were quick again, so. And yeah, as he said that he's talking about the car, this, this is something I really want to want to highlight because there there's, a, there's of course that moment where Lando was complaining to Hamilton that he had the fastest car before, but Lando needs to get used to winning races. He has the fastest car, he needs to deliver. He must deliver now that he has the fastest car, there's no more excuses. And again, this is why I'm so happy about this race, the, for the fact that, again, he has the fastest car and he delivered amazing race. Ama all weekend he's been dominant, from practice to qualifying to the race, he's been amazing. This is what, to the last few races, we need Lando to be like this the whole way through. Uh, it was a good day. It's been a great weekend, in fact. Um, mistake free, really, from my side, apart from a couple of things today. And, um, a weekend executed exactly how I, I planned for and exactly how I want to, uh, I, I want to execute weekends. Um, but nevertheless, still a tough one and not, uh, not easy, even with uh, how quick we've been. So, um, a satisfying one. Yeah, I mean, you kept it exciting with uh, those couple of brushes with the, with the wall. Was there anything to do with the relentlessness of it? No safety car, no brake. I mean, you're carrying a big expectation of, I yeah. must win this. Uh, how, how physically tough was it out there I mean, today? And mentally, I suppose. Mentally tough, yeah. I, you know, um, physically tough, uh, sweating a lot. It's pretty hot in the car. It's extremely hot in the car, actually. Um, you know, like, we're the tough conditions for us as drivers. It's, it's not easy. This is... Um, it doesn't look it on the TV, but let me let me assure yeah, you. It, we we, how do you say it? We don't. There's no way for us to feel it, how hard it is. But for example, if you ever played F124, you know how tricky that track is. And again, the the way the drivers describe the race. For example, Fernando Alonso last year saying that this was the hardest drive he'd done all year. It's like it's a very hard track. So yeah, again, this is why I said this was such an important race because it's a race where you know it's so easy to make mistakes. It's so easy to put a foot wrong, to, you know, uh, effort into the wall, for example. It's so easy to make mistakes, and Lando just, he just kept it clean. He kept it clean, and I'm so happy for him, man. I need to see Lando do more of these races. It's pretty hot in the car. It's extremely hot in the car, actually. Um, you know, like, we're, the tough conditions for us as drivers, it's, it's not easy. This is, um, it doesn't look it on the TV, but let me, let me assure you, inside the car, it's, it's tougher than a lot of our sports, and um, it's tougher than what it looks. And uh, we're performing at the, the top level of what we can perform as, as, as humans. Um, it's why we're athletes. Uh, but that's the task, you know, that's my job, is to make sure I'm fit and performing well, and, and that is a little bit part of it, especially on a race weekend like we have today, and a race like we have today. Um, but it's tough to, to manage the, as soon as you relax a little bit too much, you can make mistakes because you, you're not focused, and. As soon as you push a little bit too hard, you can also make, make, make mistakes, you know, so it's, it's a challenge. It's not easy out there, but um, it's good fun. Just finally, he didn't quite get the Grand Slam because Ricardo comes in and nicks the fastest lap. 52 points in it. Um, you're doing what you have to do. You just keep doing that. Keep trying to apply. Again, that's it. The, 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 
the gap is now 52 points. And I was talking about this before. Well, I was thinking about this before, actually. Excuse me. Um, if he ke- if he keeps if he keeps at it, he keeps performing. Like that's that's all he can do. Whether he's it, I mean, he's of course going to be able to close the gap if he keeps performing. But that's all he can do. All he can do is just do his best. Like last week, he messed up in qualifying in, in Baku. What does he do? He makes sure he ends up in front of Max, even if it is like uh, just a few points ahead of Max. Every race, he's been able to close that gap. He needs to keep doing this, man. And this is what this is where like champions are made. Is is these high high pressure scenarios? This is where London needs to he needs to shine. When the pressure is the highest, that's when you perform. But I believe in London, man. I f- I, I know he can do it. I know he can do it. Or at least I'm hoping he can do it. I'm hoping that he can do it. If you relax a little bit too much, you can make mistakes because you you're not focused and. As soon as you push a little bit too hard, you can also make, make, make mistakes, you know, so it's, it's a challenge. It's not easy out there, but um, it's good fun. Just finally, he didn't quite get the Grand Slam because Ricardo comes in and nicks the fastest lap. 52 points in it. Um, you're doing what you have to do. You just keep doing that. Keep trying to apply pressure to Max. That's all you could do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would have loved fastest lap, but Daniel, Daniel got me at the end, so um, I'll give it to him, you know, but... Uh, I would have loved to. I mean, it's been a great weekend apart from FE1. FE1 our second, but the rest we've been on top and we've been quickest. So it would have been nice to do the whole thing together. Um, but this is what i got to do. It's what I need. It's what we need to do as a team. I mean, we've executed things perfectly as a team, and especially to get Oscar in P3 today. Um, but That's we need to do... one, because McLaren, they've been cooking. You know, it's great for Lando and his Drivers' Championships aspirations, but as a team... I don't really see Red Bull catching up to McLaren when it comes to the uh, Constructors' Championship. Because of Sergio Perez, they should have gotten rid of Sergio Perez and gotten someone else. Like, Carlos Sainz was there for the taking. Sergio Perez, oh, f- fair enough, the car is also not as good. The car has definitely declined. But Sergio Perez, he's hurting Red Bull so much. Because Oscar and Lando, week after week, stellar performance after stellar performance, the gap is just getting bigger and bigger between themselves and, and Red Bull. Do it uh, every race to the end of the year if I want to have a chance to, to get Max. But we're working hard, and um, if I keep doing what I've done this weekend, then it's definitely possible. Okay, and that's it, man. I, I appreciate you guys for watching this one. Uh, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. We're going to move on, and we're going to... Because there's a lot of things I want to I react to. So there's, of course, F1 and Lando. Um, yeah, I just, I, I just want Lando to continue to perform like this. Uh, hello, bro. Okay, see you. Uh, yeah, so I, I just need to continue to perform like this if he wants to get to that top spot. 